Morning. Voting po. EV po. Ingat po, ingat sir. Maraming maraming salamat po. Thank you po. Pupunta kami ng Makati, tignan namin kung pwede rin doon yung EV. Ingat sir, ingat. Maraming salamat, ingat. It works! It works! Okay, so why am I so excited the fact that it works? Because today is a Wednesday. And as we established, this car is a 5. It is past 7 a.m., which means we are thick into it. The, the coding of, uh, of Metro Manila. But because we are in a Nissan Kicks E Power, by law, we are allowed to be driving this automobile any time that we want, five days a week. Actually, seven days a week is what we can, we can do. So we're going to test that uh, exemption of the law by heading into Makati and try to pass by as many traffic enforcers as possible just to see if we can squeak by and they will send us on our way. Should be a fun day. This is probably the first time anyone has been like Ever? In intentionally. Looking for a traffic enforcer? Yeah, this is definitely the first stop. It's, you know that saying where um, the police are never around when you need them and they're always around when you don't need them? I'm hoping that that theory doesn't actually pan out today because today we want to see traffic enforcers. We, we, we revel in the fact that they're going to come to us and, and try to halt us, but no, because we are inside the law that states that we can operate a vehicle that runs on electricity, that we can go to any street that we want inside Metro Manila. Okay, so here we go. We are about to run the gauntlet, so to speak. We are entering Makati on a Wednesday in a car that the plate number ends in a five. Okay, we're passing a traffic enforcer right now. Oh, make me pansin naman. Another enforcer right here. Yes, stop me, stop me. No, really? Traffic enforcer? Traffic enforcer? <laughs> Okay, so there are two cops right here, enforcers. We're about to make a left from Paseo de Roas onto Ayala. I'm gonna try to slow down a bit so that they see that my plate number is a five and perhaps, perhaps, we'll finally get somebody to stop us. Okay, I'm turning. Mr. Enforcer, look at my plate. Look at my plate. Look, dude, look at the plate. Look at the plate. <laughs> he saw the plate. I know he saw the plate. But maybe, again, he's just used to it already. They know. The Nissan Kicks E Power is that popular. I like it. I'm starting to feel like, oh no, I've got power in me now. Oh, you've got E Power in me. I was getting there, <laughs> Jack. You kind of ruined it. We are at the corner of Pasong Tamo and Ar Arnaif, as Jack likes to call it. And I know there are traffic enforcers here all the time on the corner. There's one at the intersection. He sees us, but he didn't do anything. Yeah, it's got to be. It's got to be the presence of um, the Nissan Kicks e-Power. It's got to be. Because it's impossible that you go around Makati this long without anybody flagging you down in a car that's not allowed during um, coding days. Yeah, the Kicks is that note. Jack, I am so very sorry that I had to bring you out today for this exercise of trying to look for enforcers. But it just really goes to show that the Nissan Kicks e-Power is really number coding proof. There's no if, ands, and two buts about it. Now that we've proven that, I figure we try something else with the car. Seeing as how I've already gotten you out, why don't I take you to Anvaya? Uh, is this like a no, not a work thing. It's just because you've been working really hard these past few days and I want to reward you with a trip to Anvaya. Gee, thanks. Now, I know we've already been on a long drive to Misibis Bay. That we've already done. But I really wasn't paying attention to fuel consumption at that time because I was just really enjoying my drive. This time, I want to see just exactly how fuel efficient this car is. So why not take two at the same time, which is basically take Jack to Anvaya, 
reward him for his great work and try to figure out just exactly how fuel efficient the Nissan Kicks e-power really is. What say you, Jack? Sure. Game? Okay. Yeah. Let's go at it. Why not? I'm not really dressed appropriately for the beach though. Don't you worry about a thing. I got something for you. I got you covered. I got you, fam. Okay, so we just filled up at a gasoline station inside Metro Manila. We're resetting everything. We were doing 14 earlier, and of course, we got into a bit of traffic. Okay, so we reset full tank of gas. It says 414 kilometer range, which I'm assuming will be, I'm guessing at least 50% more as we're driving on the highway because we're obviously not going to encounter traffic. Now, that 414 kilometers was because of the, the driving habits that we were using while inside the city, which is stop and go and whatnot. So my assumption is that once we get on the highway, that is going to skyrocket, which should be really, really cool to see. You know, it's funny. When you're inside the city, you expect a certain noise level. And then when you're on the highway, you expect that noise level to drop. But with the Kicks E power, it's strange because it's just quiet either way. Whether you're in the city going over bumps or going down Edza, which let's face it, is not the smoothest thing, or when you're on the SE text like this, going at speed. And mind you, I'm going over 90 kilometers per hour right now and still the car is extremely quiet. I can have a decent conversation with Jack and not scream at him as if that he's in the next room or anything like that. And truth be told, I can whisper to him like this as if I want to get something really serious across to him and he'll still hear me. Amazing. The wind noise is kept down. The road noise is kept to a minimum as well. And the engine, or shall I say the generator of this automobile, is pretty quiet too not only in the city but on the highway as well and you'll really enjoy it is that the fact that you can drive this car essentially with one pedal they call it the nissan e-pedal which is to say that depending on how you set the automobile it will give you either less or more resistance when you turn these systems on so resistance so much so that when you release the accelerator it slows down significantly much like as if you were driving a golf cart. There's a lot of resistance. That resistance is good for two things. Number one is that it slows you down quite immediately instead of you, let's say for example, immediately getting off the gas pedal and then getting on to the brake pedal. The second thing that's great about it is that when you do drive it with the e-pedal, you have regenerative braking which is as you slow down, the brakes themselves take all that wasted energy and put it back into the automobile, which charges the batteries, which then in turn drives the automobile. So it's really a win-win situation. And it's fun to drive it too. Granted, it may take some time to get used to, but when you do, my goodness, you start to think, why isn't this available in all automobiles? Because it just makes traffic or the highway that much more fun to drive. Not just fun either, definitely more relaxing, more comfortable because then you don't necessarily have to shuffle your foot back and forth from the right to the left, to the right to the left, to the right to the left. That can get to your right calf, if you know what I mean. Oh, and get this. Because the Nissan Kicks e-Power is not driven by your conventional internal combustion engine and not uh, linked to uh, a CVT or a six-speed, even a six-speed automatic or a dual-clutch transmission, it is driven by an electric motor. So think of it as a light switch. When you flip the switch, it just goes. The torque, the power, it's just instantaneous. You step on the accelerator and it just goes. Allow me to show you. So we're at 70 kilometers per hour. I'm gonna take it out of eco and just put it into normal mode. Oh, why not? Let's put it into sport. And are you ready for this? Road is clear. Nobody behind us, nobody in front of us. In three, two, one. 
Whoa. <laughs> and that's 100 kilometers per hour already. Wow. That is quite instantaneous. Not only is it quiet, not only do you get instantaneous movement or forward momentum when you apply the accelerator, but it's also extremely fuel efficient. Now inside the city, we were doing 18 kilometers per liter. That was sort of like a little bit mixed highway and city, which is already pretty darn good. But now that we're on the SE Tex, I decided to see exactly what fuel efficiency it could achieve simply on the SE Tex. So we reset everything. I'm cruising at 100 kilometers per hour. And wouldn't you know it, currently, I'm doing 21 or rather 25.1 kilometers per liter, pegged at 100 kilometers per hour. That's just darn good. And great too, because on the SE Tex, you've got uh, roads that go up and go down and go up and go down. Now, going the da obviously going down is going to be a lot of fun because if there's less stress on the engine or in this case the motor. But in this automobile, nothing is wasted in the sense that as you're going down, because it has regenerative braking, it gives you no range anxiety even though you have the, all the benefits of an electric vehicle at basically your fingertips and your toe tips, but without the need for any charging points at all. Charging stations? No. Fuel stations? Well, not exactly right now because at 25.1 kilometers per liter, who's gonna need it for the next, geez, for the next 500 kilometers? And yet another cool thing about the Nissan Kicks e-Power is that you can actually run the car on full EV when the battery is fully charged, as we're doing right now. The engine is off. It's absolutely dead quiet in here because there's nothing running except the electric motor. And that's the only juice that we're using right now from the batteries to power this car. So I'm, I'm basically inside Subic, which is a bird sanctuary, and I'm being as quiet and as environmentalist as I can. That's pretty cool, man. Let's see how much. Can I hit the speed limit of 70 kilometers per hour in here just on full EV? I can. I'm doing it. I'm doing almost 70 kilometers per hour and I'm on full EV mode. I'm just using the battery right now. Right now I'm coasting and right now, oh, look at it. And then if I were to take my foot off the accelerator, everything gets charged as, I, as, the, as the brakes come on because I've got the e-pedal on so cool it's basically feeding itself so you ready jack no one actually i am i mean earlier i wasn't but i looked at some pictures it looks really nice it sort of warmed up to the well, I'm glad you're excited, buddy, because we're like half a kilometer away. I promised that I'd bring you to Anvaya, and that's exactly what I'm going to deliver. And here we are. What do you think, Jack? Oh, uh, well, I don't see anything yet, so... Well, I said I'd bring you here. Here it is, Anvaya Cove. All right, so let's go inside then. Oh, no, right. no, no. I never said we were going inside. I just said I'd bring you to Envira. Yeah, that means us going to the beach, right? I never said we'd go to the beach. I just said you, I'd you show said you. For your mental health, we'll yeah. go to the beach. Yeah, look at the sign. Isn't it a relaxing sign? Okay, let's go home. What? Yeah. What did so you we're expect? We're already here. Can well, we at least just like stop by and look inside? I'm not a member. Sorry. <laughs> the, this whole time I thought you knew someone or you, you I said I'd someone. show you Anvaya. I did. Oh bring you to Anvaya. I never thought I'd bring you inside. Oh. Don't feel so bad. I'll get you a coconut. What? Yeah. I don't even like coconuts. Buku juice. How ah, can... okay. Buku juice. My like goodness, man. Because the things that we planned to do today didn't really come to fruition. We 
tried to get ourselves stopped by traffic enforcers in Makati inside a car that is coded today being Wednesday well that didn't happen Jack didn't even appreciate the fact that I brought him to Anvaya I have no idea what what does it take to get a simple thank you from you, Jack. You can't even go inside. But dude, I'm not a member. That's not my fault. It's That's not your fault. You should, maybe you should have made plans before we got... You just like... See, again, look, look it's complaining I and... I might as well just look well, at the picture or video. Why bring me inside? Sino ba na kaya? Tapos di member. Buti na lang nakakicks tayo. For more information on the Nissan Kicks e-Power and any product from Nissan Philippines, head on over to autodeal.com.ph where we have the entire lineup for you, including specs, prices, even colors of these automobiles. And when you're ready, do try our Get Coat button because that button is absolutely free. What's this? Uh, durian. There was no buko. Sorry. So people are still trying to figure out just exactly how to classify the Nissan Kicks e-Power. Is it a hybrid electric vehicle? Is it a battery electric vehicle? Is it a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle? Let me break it down for you once and for all and try to explain in layman's terms just exactly how this vehicle operates. This right here is what you would recall as saying as that it is an engine fine and well. But let's get that out of your head. Don't think of this as an engine. Think of it as a generator, okay? Much like the same way that you have a generator in a hotel, at home, in an office, to power all the systems needed when the power cuts off. That's exactly what this is. Now, what this generator uses to power itself is obviously gasoline, which you can get at any pump. But this generator doesn't work the wheels of the car. The only thing the generator powers are the batteries found underneath. That's it. That's the only thing that it's supposed to do, power the batteries underneath. It's the batteries underneath that use the electricity that you get from the generator that powers the motor. The motor is what actually gets the car moving. So in essence, the Nissan Kicks e-Power is essentially an electric vehicle, but close to a hybrid as well. It's really the best of both worlds. And in turn, what all of that gets you is that you've got great fuel efficiency, as we've already shown, and then the environmental impact is much, much less than your normal internal combustion engine. An analogy that I like to use when it comes to the Nissan Kicks e-Power and its batteries found underneath, I like to say that the batteries are actually the San Juanico Bridge, and it's the best gap that you've got from a generator to the motor. It really brings all of them together in a very nice way, in a very powerful, a very fuel-efficient way. As of the moment, I'm sure that the natural progression we all want to get to, obviously, is to go full electric. And yeah, I get that. But let's be honest, let's be truthful with one another. The infrastructure just isn't quite ready yet. It's there, it's starting, but for every Tom, Dick, and Harry like you and I that don't have access to a charging point, whether it is where we live or where we work, this, ladies and gentlemen, is your best bet to get all the benefits of an EV without any of the hassles of having to charge it. You don't like it? No. Well, I'm not gonna- Thank you, though. Wow, he said thanks. And then he gave it back to me. Hey, Jack, catch. Ah. Bye. Ha, ha, ha.